everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy for anyone that is new around here and today I am drawing a full dog portrait in coloured pencils. So I really hope that you enjoy this demonstration and this tutorial. In today's tutorial I am talking about how to draw long and also black and white fur as well. So I really hope you enjoy this video. So for this tutorial we are drawing a full face portrait of the dog but I would like to focus a lot of this tutorial on how to draw long fur and also how to draw both black and white fur because the dog I am drawing not only has long fur but both black and white fur as well and I know a lot of people struggle with this type of fur. So around the dog's eyes and the top of the head there is a lot of black fur and I think a lot of people struggle with drawing black fur or really dark fur because it is so dark and it can be really hard to see all of the different colours, tones etc and it's not always easy to distinguish what you can really see. I'm actually using the Prismacolors with the exception of the black luminance pencil for this drawing but as I always say you really should just use the pencils you feel most comfortable with and I'm starting off by using the black pencil and I've sharpened that to a fine point so that I can get all of the little details in. That's really important for drawing fur as fur is so detailed so you will want that detail to show up in your drawings and if you are using blunt pencils it won't so always use sharpened pencils. So when I use my pencils, I like to use the side of the pencil to get in a lot of shading, adding layers, building up on those layers, and then I like to use the tip of the pencil to apply a firmer pressure and add some details in. And I'm actually using a variety of pencils for the black fur. So like I just touched upon already, the fur isn't just black, there are actually a lot of undertones, colours and shading that you will see in black fur. So it's really important that you capture that if you are doing a drawing like this. So for that dark patch of fur around the dog's eyes, I have used a lot of the black luminance pencil, but I've also used a lot of cooler grey tones, so grey tones with blue tones in them, to add depth and definition to the fur. And you will often see a lot of grey tones in black fur. Sometimes it might be quite cool tones, so almost like a bluey tinge to the grey tones. Other times it might be warm grey tones, so there might be elements of brown or yellow in the grey tones. And you may also notice a lot of browns, blues and even purple tones in black fur. And a lot of it is actually to do with the sunlight or natural light that will determine what colours you see. So I'm working a little bit on the fur under the eye now and as you can see the black fur actually transitions into lighter brown tones. So that is what I mean about there being lots of different colours in black fur and also a transition of colour as well. So in this case going from incredibly dark fur to lighter fur. And this actually leads me on really nicely to the next point I'd like to make about drawing black fur. And that is that a lot of artists get mistaken and think you should go in with a lot of hard pressure to colour an area in completely black. When actually it's really important to build up layers gradually over time. So moving on to the other eye now and what you can see me doing here is using the black pencil to very lightly shade in a base layer of pencil. I'm not applying a hard pressure at all, I'm just very lightly adding in some black pencil to that area with the side of the pencil and I'm just using the tip of that pencil to hype up the saturation of that colour in the places that need it. So by just going in really dark in the areas that need it, that means that I can have areas that are also lighter as well. So it's not all one solid black colour and looks really flat. So you can see on the area that I'm working on now, some areas almost look completely black but there are also some areas that are much lighter and I've used some cool grey tones to lighten those areas up so that it adds depth to the drawing. When I lighten an area of black fur up with the grey pencils, I like to use the tip of the pencil to transition some of that really dark fur into the more grey areas so that the lighter areas really contrast with the darker areas and using the grey pencil also helps me to add some fur lines in as well which is really important because you want it to look like an animal and that they have fur. I'm also using that black pencil to just lightly go over some of the really dark areas and that helps to continue to add in contrast but also more shading and darkness to the areas that need it. So for example the inner part of the dog's face and the outer part of the dog's face as well. So for the black fur that I've just drawn already hopefully you can see how that isn't just completely black. There's a lot of grey tones and also some created fur lines as well. 
For the white fur that I'm working on now and also worked on quite a lot off camera, you can have similar issues to drawing white fur or light fur as you do with darker fur, but it's almost the complete opposite. So with the black fur, you have the issue with trying to add in some lighter tones and colours, but with white fur, you have the worry of trying to add in some darker tones whilst giving the illusion that you were still drawing white fur. So if you have a look at the nose area of the dog, that area of the dog is white but it isn't just plain white and that's the last thing you want to be doing which is leaving an area white because that won't look natural or realistic so what you need to do is look at that reference photo and really look at what colors tones and hues you can see in the white fur do you see gray tones flesh tones is there any shading are there any dark areas if you really try and break down the photo you are working from, then it will really help you to understand how to draw white fur. When I'm drawing white fur, I also like to use an off-white colour as a base, and then I build up on some tones using some grey tones and flesh tones to make it look more realistic. But moving on now to drawing long fur, and as you can see I've skipped forward a bit just so that it makes it a little bit easier to talk through my techniques for drawing long and wavy fur on the dog's ear. So first of all I am using a combination of different pencils, so primarily the black pencil, grey pencils and also some brown pencils as there were some areas of fur that transitioned into a reddish brown colour. I like to start with the black pencil to mark out my darkest areas on the dog's fur and I go in the direction that the fur is going in. So for this part of the fur I'm sweeping that colour downwards and using stroking techniques to define the long fur. I'm applying the pencil with both the side of the pencil and also the tip of the pencil and this helps me to evenly distribute colour and shading and build up my layers. So for example if you want to darken an area up I can apply more layers of pencil over a particular area to darken the fur. On the dog's ears the fur is long and wavy so again I'm looking at the reference photo to determine the direction that the fur is going in and that will help me to draw the fur. So I'm just very lightly blocking in some of those fur patterns so that I know that the fur is starting to change direction and is wavy. I'm also using a combination of colours in conjunction with the black pencil so that I have a really nice contrast between colours but also an easy transition between the darker areas and the lighter areas. I like to add in the black pencil first as it helps me to really distinguish the fur length, type and direction and I like to blend the black pencil with some lighter tones so that there is always a mix between lighter and darker areas. So you want to make sure that when you are drawing any type of fur, you really think about the type of fur you are drawing, the length of the fur, the patterns the fur is making, and the direction it is going in. But you also need to think about where your light and dark areas are. So where is there shading? Where are the highlights? And applying all these techniques together will mean that you can get a really detailed look and realistic result. So just finishing off this drawing now, hopefully you can see how I've applied all of those techniques. I had a little trouble with the lower mouth and under the chin of the dog but like with everything these things take time to really grasp but hopefully I've given some helpful tips for drawing fur. Thank you so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you never miss an update from me i upload art related videos three times a week and i have a list of all of the materials products and equipment that i use in the description box down below but anyway i look forward to seeing you all soon bye everyone